FM system figure 4.19. The locally generated carrier has a frequency error delta omega and the phase error delta. That is, receiver carrier is cos omega c plus delta omega of t plus delta or sin omega c plus delta omega of t plus delta show that the output of the upper receiver branch is m1 of t cos delta omega of t plus delta minus m2 of t sine delta omega of t plus delta and instead of m1 of t and the output of lower receiver branch is m1 of t sine delta omega of t plus delta and m2 of t cos delta omega of t plus delta instead of m2 of t okay so we had to show at this point this is where the m1 of t is located at so this is the end okay we had to show what is going to be the output right here now to show that first we have to see what's happening here if you look at this, this is the summation of this one and this one so if you write express this one in an equation this is going to be phi qam that is right here of t that is equal to m1 of t cos omega ct and also m2 of t sin omega ct m1 of t cos omega ct and then plus m2 of t sin omega ct okay that's what we have right here so the, the, this is phi q m of t that is this expression now we have to see what happened at this one and this one <coughs> so let's look at what happened for the x1 of t if i take x1 of t that one is like here we have phi q m going through this and we have 2 cos omega c of t multiplying this one with this and uh, once both of them multiply we are going to have x1 of t but they also mentioned that when we have uh, this uh, the, the carrier has a frequency error of delta omega local generator carrier has a frequency delta omega and the phase error of delta that is the receiver carrier cos omega not c delta omega of t plus delta and sine omega of c delta omega of t plus delta so this one is going to have an error and once it have the error it's going to be expressed like this and also we have this multiply this two also multiply so we can mention this one before we start writing when the carrier is And the, and the carrier is cos omega c cos it's better right here because the, I'm gonna write the whole term cos omega c plus delta omega of t plus delta or sine omega c plus delta omega of t plus delta then we are going to have the expression for x1 of t like this this is 2 cos omega t so we are going to have 2 right here and also this phi qa multiply by this one so we write the i take the two of from this and put it front and then phi qa that one multiply by the cost term of this because that's the upper side of it so the cost term is with error expressed like this cos omega c plus delta omega of t plus delta so i'm gonna put that one right here <coughs> 
cos omega c plus delta omega of t plus delta okay now we just have to expand this one and express it so now let's go and expand to exp do the expansion initially we know that phi q a minus this and if i substitute that one for this and multiply with other values that's going to be the x of t so here x1 of t so here i'm just gonna plug all the values so this is two times then m1 of t cos omega ct plus m2 of t sin omega ct okay all of them multiply by cos omega c plus delta omega of t plus delta okay so we just have to know that this whole thing multiplied by this and uh, we can simplify this one by doing the multiplication of this so this is gonna be when you multiply I'm gonna start writing here 2 m1 of t cos omega ct and then that one multiply by with this one with error that is cos omega c plus delta omega of t plus delta <laughs> and the second term is <coughs> okay and the second term is this um, 2 m2 of t sin omega c t 2 m2 of t sin omega c t that one multiply by this cos term that is cos omega c plus delta omega of t plus delta okay so here we have cos cos multiplying and also sine and cos multiplying we can do trigonometric identity substitution to make it look better so here m1 of t if i apply trig identity it becomes when you have a cos and another cos multiply that is half time cos a plus b and plus cos a minus b a, a will take the place of high whichever has higher in this case omega c plus delta omega of t has a higher value so it's going to take the place of a and then a plus b a minus b so we are going to end up with m1 of t and uh, since it's half cos the equation trig identity is half so the two and two cancels and it will go away so it's gone right here and then if we express the cos term we are going to have cos a plus b that is in this case uh, whatever the value we have here so here we have omega c of t delta omega of t plus delta and here we have omega c of t so this omega c of t plus omega c of t that's going to be 2 omega c of t and other terms remains as the same so we are going to have here 2 omega c 2 omega c plus delta omega and the whole thing multiplied by t and also the delta error okay that one and then plus <coughs> and then here um, if you look at that's cos a plus b if you look at cos a minus b <coughs> uh, a is the higher value that is omega c plus delta omega of t plus delta and minus omega c of t then since we have omega c of t and omega c of t it will go away then we are end up with delta omega of t and then plus delta so we are going to have plus <coughs> oh 
okay and also at the same time i can take them one of the common it's common for both of them so here cos uh, delta omega t plus the error okay because the omega c or minus omega that's gone okay that is for the cos part of it now if i look at the sine part of it okay plus the sine part of this we have a sine and a cos multiplying and uh, it has a 2 m of 2 m2 of t so here we can take the m2 of t common and if you have a sine and a cos multiplying <coughs> it's a similar thing but uh, it's going to be sine all of them like in the cos when you have two cos multiplying all the cos all of them of course but when you have a sine and a cos multiplying all of them are sine and also if we have the cos taking the higher value it's going to be minus in the middle okay that's all you have to know now the sine expression also is going to look exactly the same like this so we can just uh, rewrite this one this instead of cos is a plus b and a minus b so it's going to be exactly the same so we just write 2 omega c plus delta omega of t plus delta and then here we have we are going to have minus and then sine delta omega t plus delta and that's it okay and this whole thing is x1 of t and then now we are going to do with the x2 of t okay so we started x1 of t from here now x2 of t similarly we had we had to look at the bottom for the x of x2 of t because that's where the x2 of t here reminds so we are looking at this previously we did this for this one with the phi m of t we have this 2 sine omega c of t c t multiplying and this 2 sine omega c t is coming with the error that's gonna ex expressed as this okay 2 remains the same but the sine part of the expression is gonna contain all the errors and stuff so if we express this one I'm gonna use a different color for this so x2 of t we can mention similarly x2 of t is 2 phi m phi q m of t and then multiply by sine and it comes with the error expression like the omega c plus delta omega of t plus delta omega c plus delta omega of t plus delta okay as we did for the previous one what we do is we just substitute the phi qm value that is this m1 of t cos omega ct plus m2 of t cos sine omega ct in this so this is going to be m1 of t cos omega ct plus m2 of t sine omega ct and that's phi qm of t part and then we have that one multiplied by sine omega c plus delta omega of t plus delta now we have to just expand this one and then apply the trig identity so here if i expand the first one that is 2 m1 of t cos omega ct multiplied by this uh, sine expression with the error that is sine of omega c plus delta m plus delta okay that is first part of it and then the second part of this one is two times m2 of t sine omega ct two times m2 of t sine 
omega ct multiply by the sine error part that is sine omega c plus delta omega of t plus delta okay now we have to apply the trig identity trig identity when you have a cos and a sine multiply that's going to be sine sine and when you have a sine sine multiply that's going to be cos but uh, it's going to be negative like here we have cos and cos multiply the trig identity for that is cos as well but it was plus right here right but when you have a sine and sine multiply it's going to be the exact same cos expression but you will have a minus in the middle and when you have a cos and sine multiply you will get uh, both of them sine as we did before but we, before we had a minus because uh, if you look at the cost value that's bigger but in this case uh, we have a sine value that's bigger cost value is small so this is going to be plus here okay that's the trig identity and uh, when we do that this uh, this is going to be half time the cost expression so this two will be removed then we are going to have m1 of t cos and sine that's going to be that's going to be sine both of them <coughs> and here also a plus b a minus b so it's going to be exactly like this okay if you if you just copy this one and change the signs accordingly but and also this is going to be sine both of them and cos both of them okay so for example i can actually make this one x2 of t you know let's try to do that control c and then i control v bring this one here Okay, but before that I don't know it doesn't work here let's bring it to the next page okay I'm gonna bring it to the next page okay now let's do the comparison and make this one x of t so here I'm gonna make this one an x of t now I'm looking at the cos expression, two cos expression. In this case, <coughs> uh, the two cos expression comes when you have two signs here. Okay. So okay, two signs, two signs here. So two does two signs have m2 of t here right so for this one i just put m2 of t here because the two sign expression is going to be the cost value and also i put a minus in bit uh, in the middle okay <clears throat> Oh, and uh, there's a, we are going to have a problem here because uh, when we express the minus term the minus uh, cos minus b should be first and then cos uh, cos a minus b should be first and co cos a plus b should be second so this term should be swapped so what I can do like um, let's erase and write it because it should be cos a minus b and cos a plus b so we are going to have cos omega ct okay th that's the term is going to be cancelled because of 
omega ct minus omega ct so that's going to be cancelled so delta omega of t is the electron so delta omega t and then plus the error okay this is a minus b part of it and the minus cos a plus b part that is that is exactly this 2 omega c plus delta omega 2 omega c plus delta omega of t plus delta <coughs> okay same thing happened to the um, but for this one okay so now we have taken care of that now we have this one here this is going to be a plus because of the sign having the biggest value so this is going to be just a plus so order doesn't matter it can be a plus b plus a minus b or a minus b plus a minus b it's going to be the same thing so it doesn't matter but when you are when you are doing the subtraction you have to be careful because a minus b comes first a, a minus b comes first for the this trig identity like when you have a when you have a cos and a sine Yeah, cos and a sine and the sine has the biggest value then a minus b comes into it but here if you look at this one uh, this one a plus b comes first uh, because of this one cos has the biggest value okay so that that's trig identity that will, that will most likely provide it so you have to be careful where you express a minus b a plus b and stuff like that so once you are done then that's the expression now the final thing is uh, we, the question is basically we have to prove that at the end we are going to get this but if you look at the one we derive that is not similar to this because we didn't apply the low pass filter yet because if you apply low pass filter uh, what's going to happen is it's going to remove all the higher frequency components so in this case uh, if we so this is like if you look at this one the two omega c parts are higher frequency components so all of them will be removed if you remove two omega c part of it and then write it and then we can compare whether we are getting the same answer okay if we pass x1 of t and x2 of t through low pass filter the 2 omega c components will be filtered and the output okay so here um, if you look at the first one if I remove all the two omega c components I remove this and I remove this and this is the only thing left cos, same, cos delta omega t plus delta and that one is with m1 of t and uh, m2 of t okay and this one minus m2 of t sine delta omega of t plus delta is that the expression we have yeah m1 of t cos delta omega of t plus delta and m2 of t sine delta omega of t plus delta yeah so this is the one this is exactly the same thing okay so let's go ahead and express that m1 of t uh, let's put prime let's say m1 of t prime is m1 of t cos 
delta omega t you can just write it delta omega t plus delta and then <coughs> minus m2 of t minus m2 of t sine delta omega of omega t plus delta sine delta omega t plus delta okay that is m1 prime now uh, for the x2 of t it's gonna be the same thing m2 of t that is uh, m2 of t prime So here also we have to just remove the two omega c components so this will be gone and then this will be also gone so we are left with m2 of t okay and this one should be m1 i didn't change it before this is m1 so m1 m2 of t cos delta omega of t this and m1 of t sine delta omega of t omega t plus delta is that the one we have m1 of t sine delta omega of t plus delta m2 of t cos delta omega of t plus delta the order doesn't matter when we are doing the addition okay <coughs> so but uh, by the way they wanted to put like i keep this order so i read write this one first m1 of t sine delta omega t plus delta and then plus m2 of t cos delta omega t plus delta okay and that's it for this video i hope you guys found this video helpful Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you guys on my next video.